Sorry about that, guys. Looks like Twitch's server is less stable than the system I'm working on today. <laughs> oh, man. Three points! Three freaking points! Hell yeah! So I just saved the score. Um, it's still up there. Three points! Three points, because the score I was aiming for is this one. Hopefully the guy doesn't have a back backup. That score. Just took it down. Three points! Three points nonetheless. I bet if I reran it a few times I could pick up a few more points. I think I could also bump up the GPU core clock. Um, and I'd actually want to do that because I, I don't... Like, I... Just in case the guy has a backup, which I really, really doubt, but, you know, I want to show off the full power of this card. Um, so we're going to go for full power. Going to pull it down a bit. Ah. Uh. Yeah, um, you might want to reload the twi- uh... Okay, so now we're gonna go for a pass above 2.4 gigahertz on the core. Just because, you know, I, it's like I beat him by three points. I know, that's technically a first place. But, uh, I know this card did 2468 when it was on that Ryzen system. So, I refuse to back down until it runs above 2.4 gigahertz. Also, I'm not going to have... Actually, no, I might have enough LN2 to do something smaller with. But not like a live stream. I might be able to test one of my dumb ideas. I have a lot of them. And they do involve liquid nitrogen, so... And I generally avoid testing them unless it's like, like I don't want to waste LN2 that could be used on live stream, so don't test a lot of videos just for fun. Okay, so we're going to go for a faster pass now. Um, card is at minus 120. Uh, I gave it a tad more voltage. It's a 1.35 volts core, uh, according to the multimeter. I really need to like, you know what, I think the whole not having a proper ground point on the card itself to wire up to my multimeters is like that like basically because i've never been super competitive in a, well okay no that's a lie but basically because i never needed to worry about like being super accurate with my measurements on anything i don't really think it mattered that i was pulling my ground off of you know quite far away from the gpu which obviously skews the measurement a bit so, when I was reading 1.4 on that Ryzen system, it could have been a lot lower. Well, not a lot lower, but quite a bit lower. Which is why I was having so much trouble before. So, anyway, we're gonna go for a pass at 2.42, I think. Hopefully it'll work! And I won't pull the t like, I won't run the GPU super cold. Just have it around minus 120 again, because that worked for the, the the score, just like the I score right now. So minus 125-ish and hope for the best. Ugh.
Here we go. Where did my water go? Did I seriously run out of water? Oh no, there it is. Why is it running like trash? What the hell was that? Okay, we need to check something. Where is... Where did that go? Sensors... No, it's reading zero again. We're reading... It's reading the right clocks. Okay, um, we're gonna... I'm gonna do that. Refresh the graphics stack again and... Slightly lower the memory clock, but whatever, it's not gonna kill it. Run. If it runs weird again, then, uh, I guess that's it for today. Because, <laughs> like, if I try to warm it up from from this point, it's going to be, like, another 30 minutes, and then it's going to be a three-hour stream, and I don't really want to go for four. we go, it's running normal again. Yeah, so huge thanks to the guy who, with the CTRL, Shift, Windows, B. That is really helpful, actually. You know what? I'm starting to think the GPU really doesn't like being very cold. Because right now it's at minus 115 and it's running great. I'll just hover it around minus 115. It's nice that it doesn't like outright die if I pull it too low and then need a hairdryer to CBB for the cold boot bug, but yeah, I don't I don't think it likes being um, minus 170 when, it, when it's going in and minus 140 in this area. Yeah, because now it's passing again. Let's see, we should be over 60 going out. 50, 57, 60, 66. Yeah, that's, that's high. <laughs> high for that part, so. Uh. Who needs a Kingpin edition? Just buy an Asus Duel. Oh, come on! Why would you crash on me now? Okay. Um, no restart 3D Mark. Picky little card, isn't it? I'm going to go for 2.4 gigahertz at least. I want to go over 7.7k. I said 2.4! No, that's not 2.4, you idiot. That's 2392. Okay, that's 2.4. I'm gonna pull it down again. I think I might have gone too far on Recore again. That, that is very, very possible. I should have bought a linear potentiometer for this. Because here it would actually work really well, because it would be linear voltage adjustment. The reason why linears don't work great when I do my three-wire mod is because, like, the rising V Actually, no. It shouldn't cause an issue. Hmm. I should just buy linears. I don't know why I bought the logarithmics. And inverse logs are really, really, like, a pain to get, so... Ugh. I'll just buy linears. On NVIDIA cards, it should work fine. Uh, anyway. Let's run. The nice thing is, whenever I get my hands on linear potentiometers, swapping that out will be a really easy, since it's on a wire coming off. That's why I don't do, like, the whole hot glue. Like, you'll see a lot of other people who mod their cards into, like, hot glue trimmers onto the edge of the card. 
and it's just like, it looks neat, right? You don't have this janky wire lying around, but if I want to change the potentiometer on the end of this or change my voltage limits, I, it's really easy. Um, so, yeah. Whereas if you hot glued it on, you have to, like, it's not super hard to remove hot glue, but I've ripped off components trying to get rid, like, remove hot glued, so, yeah. It's running fine again. But then again, this test passed last time, and we're clocked ever so slightly lower. Buildzoid Edition. I'd love to have a Buildzoid Edition card. Like, unfortunately, I think it might end up being more expensive than a Kingpin. <laughs> like, relative to other cards, the Kingpin is like, oh yeah, it's super expensive. Buildzoid Edition. Oh, um, um, yeah. Uh, it makes a Titan XP look reasonable. <laughs> It's like, that's like a long-term goal for me, is like, get a GPU with my name on it. Yeah, score was a little lower this time around. Okay, I think this test prefers to be a tad colder, because it is a bit heavier, in terms of power draw. I'll pull it down to closer to minus 120, instead of hovering it around minus 115. Oh, I overdid it. It's minus 123, 24. Don't crash on me. I believe in you. Not that the computer actually cares, of course. <laughs> of course it doesn't. Damn you to hell. Okay, we're just gonna run Fire Strike at the same settings that got me the high score. Oh. I don't know what it is. It's like I can't retune the card to where it used to be. Like, it did 2468. I don't know why it's not doing it any longer. Oh well. Fire Strike, here we go. And it's applied. Um, I did Extreme Fire Strike. Run. Oh, Fire Strike is going to take out the CPU. I'm 99% sure it's going to take out the CPU. Also, the card's at minus 130 now. Oh, and there's... Okay. That's what I was worried about. I should load this. You know, I'm also starting to suspect maybe the card just clocks better on Ryzen or something. That'd be the weirdest thing ever, but, you know, possible. <laughs> Might be like the, the PCIe. Something about the PCIe is not happy on this, whereas it was on that. I don't know. That'd be the most ridiculous thing I've ever come up with, but really weird, because I'm down like 100 megahertz on this system, which is just, dumb, like, you know, it's a... You know what's a real problem? I keep thinking this is G pot temperature. That's pot temperature. That's voltage, idiot. Oh, Fire Strike is happy. Admittedly, we're again at low, low core clock, so hopefully it'll score high enough. 
I still think it's higher than the clock that I ran for the high score for Time Spy, so... As long as we pass physics, because Fire Strike physics is heavy as hell. It's not as bad as Cinebench, but it, I think it's worse than Time Spy. 60. I thought this loop had a hard time with the 6950X. What the hell? It's only doing 66. Yeah. Is the ambient super low because of all the LN2? <laughs> you know what would be cool? If I took down the first place without needing to use LOD, because then I'd have first place on 1070s for uh, 3D Mark official ranking and hardware bot with the same score, which would be nice. Man, seeing combined tests run at decent FPS is as a special thing. Fire Strike evidently is not as heavy or the or I really underclock the card a lot. Twenty. Twenty point six. I have no idea what I need. Twenty Oh, okay. I still need four hundred points more. Curse U12. Curse U12 in your 4.9 gigahertz 6950X. That thing is a monster. Like, seriously. 12 has the, like, the phase change that he runs is crazy. And then the CPU he has is amazing. Or maybe his cascade is just, like, liquid nitrogen, like, well, no, broadwell -y cold bug capable, which isn't really a huge achievement, but... Yeah, um... Yeah, this is like, I can't catch 12. There's no way I'm catching 12. I'm not actually catch. I'm not even doing, like, catching Moon Man at all. Yeah, the, the thing is, physics score here, right, it, like, it's so much closer together. 22.23k and, like, 27, so I'd need a lot of... Well, let's go for it. Because right now... Did I actually post a GPU? Oh, I haven't posted a... No, I have. 18K. Okay, you know what? I'm saving this before we move on, because this does get me into the top 10, so... That's worth it, I think. That's worth the screen effort of making a screenshot. And then we're going for higher pull clock. I wonder if maybe I'm trying to drop the PCIe to 2.0. That wouldn't really change performance much, but it might make it clock higher. I love how the GPU-Z, like, clock readout is just completely and utterly wrong. It's like not even remotely close. Accurate. It even boosts to 1695. <laughs> like, oh, we are so overclocked by 10 megahertz. Totally. Memory. <laughs> 3D FS1. Save. 3D FS. Okay. Um, let's go higher. Let's go higher, higher, higher. I want to run higher memory clock. Just because I think that's more likely to work than four. Okay. Let's go for it. I don't think it's going to pick up enough score to actually go hot way. Let's see where my last time was. Okay, so at 2468, the card was doing 23.6k. I'm just going to run this past the 3D Mark calculator. So I can do 27k phase. And if I did 23.6k 
that, and what was my combined? I need the combined from this run, 9.5k, okay. So, 9,500... Yeah, I'm not gonna catch. Even if I got my highest ever GPU score, I'm not gonna catch him. I mean, maybe I'm, uh... What's my physics? Oh, actually, my physics is closer to 28k. Let's round that up. I could, I could all, yeah. Yeah, I, I might be just able to beat 12. I might be just about able to beat 12. It'll be really, really hard, but it is possible. It is, it is possible. It is within the realm of, um, like, it, 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 it's, it's optimistic, I think, with how so far today has been going in terms of GPU core clock, but it is doable. If I had the core clock from my Ryzen runs, then yeah, I'd do it. I'd be able to take it down. But... I'm kind of tempted to just go for it. Like, just slam the core clock really high and see if it crashes instantly. I mean, at this point, might as well try, because I don't think otherwise I'm going to be able to, like, move up a point anyway. So, let's go for that. 24.75. That put me at 24.90. Okay, no. Yeah, yeah okay, 24.67. This is, I think, identical to what I ran on Ryzen, except for the voltage, which I don't know what it was. If I could try ground off the motherboard, maybe... Nope, that's not ground. Okay, that's not grounded either. That's grounded. It's reading... less? Seriously? Oh well. Let's go for it. Wait, I'm running time spy, damn it! Oh well, whatever, if time spy passes, fire strike will too. Okay, no, that's not running. That's not even close to running. I'll try the PCIe thing. I want my core clock. I want 24. 68. I mean, I guess I could also try push the CPU even higher at this point, because I haven't really hammered it. I could drop the RAM timings for sure. Get me into BIOS, useless pile of garbage. Thank you very much. Uh, timings. No, I want linked. There. Actually, I have no idea where the PCIe settings are. I don't know which one it is in, so everything's going to... 2.0. Let's see. I, I don't know if that'll actually help. It might actually... Well, it's worth trying, I think. I mean, technically, Ryzen's 3.0 as well, but there might just be some difference in, like, implementation or something, and dropping the speed might help.
that's memory. It's probably... Okay, you know what, I can actually fix that. That should be memory. I wish I could run that higher. Wish, I will. That's DRAM. No, that should be fine. There's nothing you can't fix with more voltage! Six B two. Yep, it posted. Actually, there is one thing you can't fix with more voltage, Pascal. <laughs> Don't check the disk. There we go. Now it's stable. Kind of. No, it's not. Damn it. Okay. Oh. It's really not right. I'm, it's going to be the CL11. Now, I'm going to try the 14 part first. It is probably that 11, but I want that. I wish I could run that tighter. God, I hate Windows 10. We're gonna fix your computer for you. No, you can't fix the freaking computer. It's because... Oh. Why? Preparing disk error. This might take over an hour to complete. I'm gonna beat you with a chair. Oh, system reset. <laughs> Ram crash. Oh wait, that might have corrupted the OS. I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> Serve you right, Windows. That's what you get for trying to repair shit. I can't be fixed. Because I broke it. Nope, don't fix anything. Thank you very much. Oh look, now it's working. That's really odd. Oh no, it's not working. I'm going to give up on CL11. That's the reasonable thing to do. It's annoying, though, because this RAM can do so, like, can go really, really fast, and I don't know what it is. It's just... Don't have the time. Two, one, six, two, zero, eight, zero, eight. I might need to sort which, like, memory, which memory sticks should go where on with these. Because I know on, like, Z270, if you're pushing really, like, tough memory settings, depending on, like, if you have your worst stick or best stick in the first slot, it, it either is or isn't stable. 
Please wait. Windows, I don't have the patience for please wait. Please don't tell me you're trying to repair something again. Nope. Now, actually, this memory on X99 has done, like, there's a, I low, I had a 3000 CL12 profile on this motherboard. That worked. Doesn't work any longer. I actually managed to boot 3000 CL11 a few times. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's possessed or something. Uh, high voltage. Let's go low voltage. Let's go for Fire Strike. Okay, you know what? I'm really getting annoyed with that. cleared some of the ice on the edge of the thermos. It'll make it pour better. Well, more controllable when pouring. There we go. Now we're below 110. Goody. Should be able to run this. I hope. I really, really hope. Hopefully the extra uncore helps the score a tad. I mean, that's really like everything I do in these streams is like every setting is like, hopefully this makes it go faster. Hopefully that makes it go faster. Sharing care of ice on the other thermos, which happened to be a little bit more stubborn. This is pretty much empty at this point. If that PCIe 2.0 thing worked, then... Actually, no, because we're not running that high clock. We need to go over 2.4 gigahertz before we know if it worked or not. Maybe Fire Strike's lighter than Time Spy. That's also possible.
the sad thing is, the only way you're gonna see FPS this high in Fire Strike on a on a Fury X, it well. Actually, no, because this is on liquid nitrogen. I guess on liquid nitrogen it would be closer, but yeah, on air, at least on like the stock cooler, the only way I'm getting FPS like this is tessellation off, and even then it's not going to be quite as high. It's going to be like it's going to go over 20k, but it's not going to be this. Here comes physics, moment of truth. Did all the fiddling with the motherboard pay off? I think it might have. What about LOD? I'm not running LOD because I want to have a score to post on the 3D Mark rankings. I'll run LOD after this. Or, well, I'll run LOD once it's maxed out. Unlike Tessellation on AMD, LOD doesn't really seem to, uh, like, affect stability. On AMD, like, it, disabling Tessellation gives you, like, plus 10 megahertz or something, because the card does so much less work. You actually pick up core clock from losing LOD. I mean, Tessellation, so, yeah. But LOD doesn't really do anything for core clock. So, if it's stable on this, it'll be stable on that. There we go! I probably scored like garbage. Garbage. Indeed it did. <laughs> it scored even worse than ever. The combined score is atrocious for no apparent reason. The physics score is up a tiny bit. Um, the GPU score is trash. Okay, curve, curve, curve. Okay, so let's go over 2.4. Oh, crap. I need LN2. Oh well, uh, didn't miss anything. <laughs> Still loading, loading. There we go. At least I have time for refills. Oh, come on, it crashed. If, like, I knew why, if I just knew why. Okay, I'm gonna go ham on it with the voltage this time around. Gave it another 20 odd millivolt, another 30 millivolts, if that doesn't help. 20 more millivolts, if that doesn't help. 20 more millivolts until it stops functioning completely. And not dead card, I mean, card doesn't work because it's too much voltage. Which this, which Pascal does exhibit, so. Would you look at that? More voltage helps. I really need to baby those temperatures. <laughs> oh, come on! I'm gonna try that, except 
because the temperature did just hit minus 20. So, well, let's warm it up. I wish the hairdryer would just stay in place. There we go, minus eight, 118. Make sure to reapply the overclock. Nah, let's go in. If it, like, no, not time spy! Damn it! Why don't they have a run again button? Seriously, like, why isn't there a run again button on the results page? A big one. I mean, if it passes time, like, I mean, eh, a higher time spy score would also be handy, I'd say. So, I'll go for it. But I did want to run 3D Mark, Fire Strike, and all time. Oh, that's not working at all. Oh, please don't tell me this is... Please, no. Okay, no, that doesn't look that bad. That's my fire strike. I don't think any- somebody said something will die. I doubt it. I really, really doubt I'll kill anything. It's not like I'm running that- that much voltage. I'm not going to go a degree over minus 115. That's what I've decided to do for this run. I mean, degree over minus 115. <laughs> Lol. In reverse. So, I'm not going to go a degree under minus... I hate that. Negative temperatures are just so obnoxious. I'm going to... should get a Kelvin thermometer and use that. <laughs> so I can just talk about, like... Because that then, if I say... Yeah, then, then I can just say degree over and, or under a certain amount of Kelvin, and it, you don't have to wonder about which direction I'm talking about. Seriously? Is, is it really about just holding the card at exactly minus 115 degrees that is ridiculous i mean if that's what it is then you know i can do it but it's ridiculous 
Like, that's a lot of work. Uh, uh, though, on the other hand, good practice, because I've so far managed to keep the car in, like, a three-degree temperature span, which is atrocious. Um, like, there's guys who can apparently hold their stuff at, like, exactly, like, plus-minus half a degree. Um, or, yeah, so... A bit warm now, but I have the extension base, so my control is limited by how, how by a couple centimeters of copper. So I think it's working. Man, that delay on the copper, though. It's really, really bad. That worked! So, lots of V-Core. Exactly 15 degrees. And the score still sucks. Ugh. Was it not running 2400? Okay, they have CPU clock, but no GPU clock. Wait, why is it saying 97% load? 98% GPU load. Uh, okay, well, let's see Time Spy. Because if I can handle it through Time Spy like this, then... Wait, I just want to check with GPU Z how much... Why? what was that right? Uh, load. This PC... Documents, 3D mark. That would be the auto save. No, the combined score is good. I don't think it's the PCIe 2.0. I mean, the card is still scoring 700 points lower than it should be, and we'll find out what GPU clock we're running right now, because I don't think, I think the readout for GPU usage in 3D Mark is trash. 2417, yeah, so we're still 50 megahertz below what I was benching last time, and ignoring that, last time I was also running another 40 megahertz on the memory, so let's do that, eh? 900. 900, here we go. Actually, it was over 900. It's like that. It was like 950. Holy hell. 2468 memory. Uh, 2417 GPU core. I need to nail that temperature, which is ridiculous. Especially with that delay on the extension. Yeah, I mean, this is not like... Wait, what was my last best? Oh no, it autosaves fails as well, so... I don't get why they can't just like save the score on somewhere in the name. Like, why is it just time? Just put the score somewhere in there. Can't be that hard to add that. Uh, oh well, let's try Time Spy again. It'd be nice to lift up the like. I feel like I eh, eh, and no, we're gonna do Fire Strike full speed. That is roughly full speed for this card. 2455. 
going to tweak my core voltage. And then I just need to baby that temperature or it's going to crash. Why does that have to keep falling down? There we go. Well, the temperature is 114, so that's like perfect for the start of the benchmark. Oh, I crashed. more v-core first, try again, and if that doesn't help, then less v-core. I'll run Fire Strike because it looks like Fire Strike is less intense than Time Spy. I think if I remember correctly, last time I was idling at like 1.418. Right now it's idling 1.4, but again, different read points, so not comparable. Power limit and temp limit? You know what? I'm going to set them all the way to like the lowest they go to, to show off how, how, how unlimited my card is. How very broken everything on it is. <laughs> oh, come on. It was, it looked like it was a tad more stable to me. Not time spy. God damn it! Ah! Oh well. If it crashes out of time spy, then it's no different than if it crashes out of fire strike. So. I should keep you all happy. Okay, so that won't run at all, but I think that's just Time Spy being, yeah, okay, Time Spy just broke again. So let's go run 3D Mark, Fire Strike. Because Time Spy just threw the same error twice, so. I think Time Spy just died. The hell? Why is Skype pinging? I have no idea what's up with this card. <laughs> it's still crashing the same. I'm 
More recoil? I mean, I, I'm not seeing like the... I don't know, I'll just keep trying more recoil and I'll either hit 1.53 volts, which is the limit, or it'll do what I want. One of the two. I could also try running colder. For the extra V core. I don't know, maybe maybe it like balances out. <laughs> Kinda tempted to throw this on the Ryzen system and see if it clocks better. But that's like no, that's not happening. That's that's mostly like a theoretical consideration. Lord, Lord, Lord. Like, everybody's like, do Lord. I, I, what's the point of doing Lord when I can't even pass? Still the same crash. Well, no, this, this crashed faster. I think too much. Hey, you know what? Maybe, like, very little V-Core? I have no idea. I'm literally lost, because last time I went all the way up to 1.4 and it was like, yeah, 1.4 is cool with me. Now it's like, oh, this is 1.4. Now, see, the memory crashing on this card is pretty obvious. The core crashing, like, the way they crash is, you, you can tell. Memory and core. Oh wait, now I'm running less V-Core, so it needs to be warmer. Whatever. It'll heat itself up. Yeah, I was running full paw, but the thing is, the temperatures, like right now, I'm at lower temperatures than when I... than last time, in terms of load temps. Test was cancelled by user, what the hell? Okay, we're rerunning that. That was really weird, because it was like, test cancelled by user. I didn't press escape. Uh, for some reason, Afterburner lost that profile. Like, I don't know why, it's like, just doesn't have it. And it's not like I haven't gotten a new SSD or anything, it's just, I have no idea. Profile's not there. <sighs> yeah, no, it just keeps crashing and crashing and crashing. run cancelled by user. Okay, you know what? Let's see. Is there anything else that will run? Yeah. 720p. Wait, what? Okay, so everything seems to be broken. I'm gonna try restart the system. Maybe something fell apart. Check my disk.
Kind of tempted to try full pot again. What the hell? No. <laughs> Didn't work. Minus 20 on thermometer crashed. Perfect. Okay, so that confirms the whole minus 20 is the devil thing. Kinda, I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know. I r literally have no idea what I'm doing anymore with this. I should just give up on that air sp that snow spray. Go, minus 120. Benchmarks. Run. That was by far, I think, the most successful in terms of run length, so I'm just gonna rerun the same settings and be more mindful of the core temperature. I'll just try full pot it, because evidently that didn't work. I hate the delay on that copper. I stopped hair drying it at 120 and now it's at 115. Now it's 113. It's like playing with, it's like playing with high ping. That's what this is like. You pour and the effect appears several milliseconds later. I think that was too warm. You know what? Okay, I'll just try full pot proper and... Pour, 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 Keep pouring. That's not full pot yet. Crank up the voltage. Fire strike, run. Minus 133. There, I think, yeah, now it's hit full pot. There we go. Now it's a full pot again. We'll see if this works. I doubt it. I give up. I quit. I've had it. I'm too tired. Still, I took down one more score. I mean, I took down, like, let's see. I have, I have a, like, I've massively improved on Fire Strike. I've taken down Time Spy proper by three points. Not really proper, but still. Three points is three points. I mean, I'm the winner. And, uh, and I'm tired at this point. Like, I'm really, really tired. I mean, I can't even read error messages properly at this point, so... Yeah. Um, that's the end. Ugh. Also, there's, like, no liquid nitrogen, but, uh... I might grab some dry ice, maybe? I'm not sure. Dry ice is really expensive. That's the problem with it. Ugh. So, yeah. I... I don't know. I kind of want to keep working with the car... I want to rerun the card on Ryzen. <laughs> at this point. 
quite honestly. It's just like, it was so different running it on Ryzen than it was running it here. It's just like, it, it's got to be the platform or something. Because, like, what the hell else would it be? Ugh. Uh. There. So, yeah. That's, that's it for today's stream. Thank you for, for watching. I, I can see that not a lot of you stayed here for the full three hour, 40 minute experience of nothing's happening. Nothing is gonna be happening. Nothing is gonna continue happening. Um, so yeah. Um, nah, the X99 is not the, the random B-Sod all the time. The, the problem I have with X99 is that X99 is really, really finicky with memory. And it's really, really hard to recover if you screw your settings up. Um, that's annoying. It's like, it, it's just like, it's not that it scores low or something. It's just a pain to dial in X99. It takes forever. And then once you dial it in, it's not like it's anything incredible anyway, because it's like X99 doesn't go over 3,500 megahertz. So, yeah. But it's not like, it's not like it's a trash platform, but it's just, it's a pain. It, it's not a pleasant platform to work on, so, yeah. Hopefully, um, you know, if, if it does turn out that for some ungodly reason the card clocks better on Ryzen, then, uh... I'm just gonna run it on Threadripper, you know. <laughs> That's like, oh yeah, here's here's 16 cores, 32 threads. Say hello to like super high physics scores with like no effort because it's gonna do four gigahertz on water cooling, um, or at least I assume it will. Admittedly, Skylake X looks like really really nice. Um, I mean, if you're not looking at feature set, if you're just looking at raw specs, it looks nice. But I think, I think uh, like the 16 core, 16 core 4 gigahertz versus 10 core doing like maybe 5, which I doubt, but let's say 4.8. Um, I think, well, no, I don't think. 16 core wins multi-threaded, still wins multi-threaded. It's just like single threaded benchmarks. So I don't think like much is going to change between like Ryzen to X99 versus Threadripper and X299. But uh, I personally want to run X299. I want to run Threadripper. Because Threadripper, like, Threadripper is cool, <laughs> you know? Um, and, like, I already like the way Ryzen works, and it's just like I don't see why I would deal with something harder. I mean, actually, no. Skylake X looks like KB like X on. I mean, KB like. I... It's too late. Four hours of streaming, I have no more mental capacity left. Let's pack it up here. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I guess YouTube habit turning up. And uh, yeah, that's it. Goodbye.